Hello, everybody. This is Stacy Barlow Hill with Encore Event Design, and I am here today with my expert event and wedding planner, Ashley Gano. Hey, Ashley, how are you today? Good. How are you? Good. I'm so happy you're here. So if you guys have been tuning in, Encore TV airs every Wednesday at 7 o'clock. And if you saw our announcement the other day, it's Encore's 10th anniversary. We are 10 years old this year. Happy birthday, us. <laughs> Uh, as you guys know, and as I told you in the video, we, you know, the event industry as well as many other industries have been struggling um, with COVID and, you know, not being able to operate at full capacity. And as a team, we just decided to make lemonade out of lemons, and we are just going to not worry about what's going on in our little world. And we're going to focus on giving back and spreading joy and igniting hope and focusing on things that we can't control. We can't control what's happening to us, but we can control what's happening around us. So that's what this is about. So I want to spend these next few weeks and just introduce you to my team, my amazing team, the people um, that are behind the scenes that just make all of these wonderful events happen and help us to serve and to, to operate in um, excellence for this last decade. So I'm going to start with introducing you to Ashley. Oh, before I start, I want to show you my shirt. It says kindness on it, and it has all these words related to kindness. And on the back, it has the Encore logo. So my sister-in-law owns a company called Jabella's Printique, and you need to go check them out. The shirts are $30 each, and a, proceed, a portion of the proceeds are going to come back to the Encore Hope Initiative. So I'll put a link um, in this video for you so that you can purchase them. But buy. They're so cute. They're super cute just to have. It just radiates kindness. You can't wear it and not be happy. So I want you to go get one and help us raise money so that we can do even more kind acts and things um, for our 10 acts of kindness. So, all right, let's get back to Ashley. So Ashley, I just told everybody who you are and what you do, but why don't you tell them again and then tell us how long you've been a part of the Encore team and then maybe give us one of your most memorable moments um, since working at Encore. Sure. Hi, everyone. Um, as Stacy said, my name is Ashley, and I um, am her head planner and wedding extraordinaire regarding planning and coordinating any event, um, weddings, birthdays, anniversaries, first birthdays, pretty much anything that you need help with. I have been with Encore officially as her planner since uh, for about four years, but Stacy had hired me on to help with some of her events prior to that. So honestly, Stacy, I don't remember how long it's been. Um, at least six years when you started at the studio, um, setting up and just doing some events with you. Um, so it's been a while and it's been a great ride. So I'm really excited for your 10th birthday. Um, but I also own my own um, event planning business, AB Occasion Design. So I'm Stacey's um, lead planner for her business. Um, so I'm excited to do that because everyone I feel needs a planner. I mean, you know, you want to enjoy your day. <laughs> Absolutely. Actually, since you said that, Ash, maybe tell them some of the benefits of having a planner, because a lot of people say, oh, I can save the money and do it on my own, um, you know, and, and they absolutely can, but maybe give them some of the benefits um, of having a planner. Sure. Yeah. I mean, I think I do hear a lot from a lot of clients, you know, that they say, you know, we don't need a planner because my sister-in-law is going to do it or my mother or my maid of honor, bridesmaids. And that's great. But um, you want your guests of honor to enjoy your day. So we're really there just to help facilitate and lead through the day. Um, oftentimes we're there to greet the vendors. And I think that's really important because when you're getting your hair done or you're trying to plan for your party, you don't want to be interrupted because the cake just arrived or the decorators here to decorate. And we really are just a liaison between you and your event to make sure it runs smoothly and kind of allow it to be stress-free. You don't have to worry about the, the limo or the transportation call and saying, hey, we're here. Are you ready? We're, you know, talking to them when they arrive and getting everything ready and setting up and cleaning up and just helping you have a nice stressful event. Um, so that's really nice too. Uh, any party that I'm going to plan in the future, I'm definitely going to hire a planner. I don't know who that might be because I'm like, I can't hire myself, but I'll probably hire one of our events yeah, staff at Encore to help through that. But it's really important, I think, just to have somebody who can just lead and coordinate and facilitate your day because there's always so many moving parts 
that yes, you could be a part of or your bridesmaids or your guests of honor can be a part of, but they won't be with you to enjoy the day because they'd be too busy running around, you know, looking for the caterer or looking for a cake knife or, you know, trying to move the cake or trying to do the linens. So it's really nice just to have a point person for any event, big or small. Absolutely. And Ashley's being a little modest, but Ashley puts her heart and soul into all these events. She is the detail queen. She is thorough. She will be there from the beginning until the end. She works hours before the event even happens, um, contacting vendors and making sure timelines are, are good. She's communicating, you know, with the clients and, and making sure that they're at ease. And her, her whole purpose is to make you not have to worry about anything. If there's any fires going on, you will never know about them until afterwards because Ashley is going to be the one to put them out and take care of them. And she finds passion in that. I don't, that's why I don't do that. She is my planner and she's the one <laughs> that handles that. So I learned a long time ago that you surround yourself with people that enjoy the things that they enjoy doing and that they can do better than you and she can do it better than me. So that's why she is our expert planner. I love it. Yes. <laughs> Absolutely. All right, Ash. So maybe tell us one of your most memorable moments um, since you've been working at Encore. Sure. Um, I think I, I have a lot of memorable moments. We just have a really great fun staff. Um, we work well together. We have fun. Um, we have wonderful Christmas parties. So Stacey, you have such great Christmas parties. I love going to them. Um, but I think one of my most fabulous, most fun and just something that I really look back on and I'm like, I did that was um, we had the opportunity to decorate a really known, um, well-known Pittsburgh athlete, um, their home for the holidays. And we've done, you know, parties for them as well. And it was just so much fun, you know, going to their home and, you know, got to get a sneak peek of the family, you know, just really had to really made their Christmas decorations come to life. You know, we spent a few hours decorating their home for a holiday party and the holidays, and it was just so much fun. Um, you know, we got to uh, meet the athlete, say hello. And um, at the end, they thanked us for their hard work and um, saw some pictures, you know, on the Instagram and everything. And I could look back and say, we did that. I was a part of that. Encore was a part of that. So that's my most fabulous memory. But also one that also sticks in mind is, one night we had, I think, two events set up, Stace, if you remember, and then we stayed until about 3 a.m. to decorate the studio for a party the next day. <laughs> I think that popped up in my Facebook memories like the other day, and I was like, oh my God, I remember that night. <laughs> that was dedication. I think I gave you guys the option to come back in the morning, I believe, but you guys were like, let's just push through, let's just do it. <laughs> right? I remember that too, because it did pop up my memories, and I, I was tying chair sashes, and I was like, man, that was a long day, but it was fun because we get to bring <laughs> joy to people's events. And I really like that aspect. Absolutely. Yeah, that's what makes it all worth it. Seeing the <laughs> smiles and seeing people happy and excited because of something that we did and it makes it worth all those long and, and grueling hours. So, but yes, I absolutely remember that. That's so funny. Okay. All right. So maybe tell us something interesting about yourself or maybe something that others just don't know about you. Um, let's see. I have so many great interesting facts, but my favorite would be, um, and I think most people know because I brag about it a lot, is I have an identical twin sister. Her name is Amber, and um, we were the 2017 Twins Days Festival Queens. Um, so we were royalty amongst the twin community back in 2017. <laughs> um, but we enjoy going to the Twins Days Festival every year. Unfortunately, it was canceled this year due, due to COVID. So shout out to all my twin friends. Hey! Um, but that is something that most people don't know that there's two of me. My sister does not live in Pittsburgh. She's in Alabama. So um, if you see me out, it's usually me, not her. Um, but if you do see me out and you say hello and I don't say hello, it's probably Amber because she might not know who you are. But um, that's an interesting fact because Stacy also has twin girls. So I always like to, you know, talk to her about her girls and, you know, give the, you know, take them twin days, that kind of stuff. But that is something that I'm really proud of. And I think is a unique fact as well as being a queen. I've always wanted to be like a queen with a crown and we got to do that in 2017. <laughs> I know. My girls love Ashley. I keep telling them I'm going to have um, them go to twins day one of these years. So we'll see. Maybe I'll get them there. <laughs> so very cool. And they, they are identical. My twins are identical, but you and your sister are identical, but I can still tell you apart. When I see pictures, I can still tell maybe just cause I know you so well that I can tell you <laughs> apart, but I can tell you apart. But twins are a blessing and I'm so nice. God made me twice. So that's fun. <laughs> 
All right. All right, Ash. Well, thanks for sharing some facts about you. I'm sure our audience appreciate getting to know you a little bit better today. Um, since I told you guys we were going to be conducting our 10 acts of kindness um, in honor of our 10th anniversary this year, Ash, I've um, charged each of our leadership team with coming up with an act that's near and dear to their heart. So something that they thought was important or something that was just um, of significance to them. So I challenged them each with coming up with something. So Ashley is going to tell us about her act of kindness and why she chose it. And then she'll tell you how you guys can participate in it um, and be a part of it. Yeah, great. Um, so I'm really excited about this opportunity. Um, my random act of kindness is called Adopt Don't Shop Pet Contest. So I have always loved pets growing up. I've had kitties. I've never had dogs. I do like dogs, but I've always been more of a cat person. Um, but I really have not understood the importance of adopting from a local shelter um, until about six years ago when I adopted my fat black cat, Bobby May. <laughs> she Bobby. is she is my world. Um, it's been a long six years. She's very temperamental. She's had a lot of health issues. She was in the shelter for five years. Nobody really wanted to give, or excuse me, three years. She was in the shelter for three years. I adopted her when she was five um, and she's 11 now. So I've had her for six years and it's been a constant. Now, Stacey, you know, like every day I see you, it's always like, oh, Boppy May. Um, she is phenomenal. I, you know, I really want to give back to those pet owners who have adopted their pets um, from a local shelter um, to really say thank you for doing so. There's so many pets in the world who are homeless, who have been brought in from the streets. Um, during this quarantine, I've been coming became obsessed with TikTok, which I think most people have been. Um, and there's so many animals on there, you know, that people post that, you know, have been abandoned or abused or have been in the shelter and they've adopted them and they just transform. So I really wanted to focus this random act of kindness on those four-legged friends who we have to be their voices to, you know, give them a chance, give them the, a home. Um, if I didn't give Boppy May a home six years ago, I don't know what would have happened to her. Um, to this day, we still struggle with her going outside the litter box because she has high anxiety. I spend, I spent $50 on medicine last month. She won't take it. <laughs> spend it again to get new medicine. She won't take it, but I love this little angel. And I really just want to have this act of kindness focus on those animal and their pet owners who have adopted from a local shelter. Um, you know, whether it's in your hometown, in the Pittsburgh area, outside Pittsburgh, um, we just want to say thank you. So this random act of kindness is for those pet owners who have adopted from a shelter. Awesome. That's wonderful. I hope this will um, inspire, you know, people to adopt from shelters because there's so many pets that need homes. And um, I think that's awesome of you to want to do that. So tell people how they can participate and what's the contest about. Yeah. Um, so what we have done is we want to award four pet owners or woohoo, with um, $50 gift cards to their local pet store. So that could be Petco, PetSmart, um, pet value, and I think there's a couple others too. Um, but what we want to do is um, um, have four winners get these $50 gift cards. Um, so what we're asking you to do is like Encore Event Design and AB Occasion Design on Facebook. Um, and we will post this all on our social media so that way you can um, have that information as well. So step one is liking um, Encore Event Design on Facebook as well as AB Occasion Design. We would like you to post the cutest picture of your pet and then tell us the story of their adoption in the comments or in the description of your photo. Um, and then as well, um, before you hit submit on our Encore Event design page, you want to tag the shelter you adopted them from and then share the post so that way other people can participate in the contest. And then entries will be collected until July 22nd and then after our July 22nd deadline, we will upload all of the photos and description stories to an album on Encore Event Design's Facebook page and then you can share that with your family and friends and the top four entries that get the most likes on Facebook will win one of our $50 gift cards. Um, so get to writing, get to taking pictures. I take pictures of Boppy May every day. I have like thousands, <laughs> um, you know, but share your photos, share your story, like us both on Facebook, as well as tag your local shelter to give them a shout out. And then the top four entries will win one of our gift cards.
Awesome. Very good. Okay. And like Ashley said, we'll have all of that spelled out for you. We'll, we'll put it on a post. Um, so you guys will make it simple for you to um, apply. And if you don't have a rescue yet, um, I'm sure you know. Hello, I think something froze. Oh no. Hey everybody, we had some technical difficulties. I don't know what you saw or didn't see. Ashley froze on us and we had to pause for a moment, but we were done with the interview anyway. So I wanted to thank Ashley for being on with us today. Thanks, Ash. Thank you so much. And I look forward to seeing all of your adorable pets. <laughs> Absolutely. So we'll see you guys next week on Core TV, same time, Wednesday, seven o'clock. And look out for the post for Ashley's act of kindness so that you can participate or share with someone else that you know that can participate and benefit from this. So thank you all. Thanks for helping us share our acts of kindness in honor of our 10th anniversary. And we'll see you soon. Bye. Bye. Thank you.